Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus reading. We're gonna be looking at what can you expect in love and where is it all headed in the near future. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean that it's specifically for you. So take what applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements. I'll have all of the playlists to each sign linked in the description box. And let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. For Taurus. What can Taurus expect in love? What can Taurus expect in love? Can we have children and religious factors? Why am I thinking of the Six of Cups? I'm thinking of the Six of Cups right now. I'm so sorry if you hear the noise in the background. They're doing some sort of like work outside, construction work. I hope that the mic isn't picking it up too too much. Let's let's see why why am I thinking this right like right away? Honestly, I'm seeing a blank. All I can see is the Six of Cups right now. So let's see if I can get some clarity. And there there's the Six of Cups. Okay, spirit, tell me more for Taurus, please. There's the Six of Cups again. What's going on for Taurus in love? Who or what is coming towards Taurus in love? What can Taurus expect in love? The Emperor, Aries energy there. Queen of Cups, what can Taurus expect in love? What can Taurus expect in love? The world with the sun. Nine of Cups, and there's the Six of Cups again. There's something here with the Six of Cups. I don't know what's going on. And after that is the Five of Cups. There's something here with the past. A past person, a past connection, a past life connection, something that happened in the past. There's something here with the past. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, does not have to be, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and what I'm picking up with these three cards is um, there's something that I feel is coming back around with the world or sorry, something starting over, but I'm not getting like a completely new beginning because like I said, I cannot stop seeing the Six of Cups. So let's get some insight here. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Can we deal with the masculine energy? Page of Cups. This could be somebody that's coming towards you, Taurus. Someone that's interested in you. The Magician and the Three of Swords. This person could have hurt you in the past. Maybe they're apologizing with the Page of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, this person could have deceived you or there may have been a fallout between you, some sort of discussion, conflict. Maybe they're apologizing for this. Maybe time has passed and they're coming in again. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Hermit. Virgo energy. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Is the Queen of Cups here? Knight of Wands. Is the Queen of Cups here? Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. Something happened here and I feel like someone retreated. I feel like someone made a mistake. They might have jumped into something with this Knight of Wands. 
they there may have been a separation here someone that just kind of like backed off or backed away yeah look at this this is the tower came out here with the two of swords i feel like someone like completely shut down here or maybe they um they don't know what to do about whatever has happened whatever mistake they've taken or whatever situation is whatever tower situation this is i feel like someone could could be unsure here why is a tower here why is the tower here tower here sir the Empress. Ooh, the Empress next to the Emperor. Maybe you were the one that caused this tower. You decided to walk away from something, end something. Maybe there was a mistake that you made or someone made that's causing you to, to do something drastic. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Page of Wands. This could have been something that like, um, interesting. Okay, so what I'm getting, again, I get this energy of you withdrawing. This could be you, Taurus. It could be your person. Flip it if you want to flip it. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is you. I think you withdrew from a person or a situation and you caused a tower when you did that. I feel like you're ready for something new here. Yeah, going after something with the King of Wands. But there's a little bit of stress and anxiety here. It, this wasn't something that I feel you took lightly. It wasn't like a light decision that you made. Tell me about the world and the sun. Why is the world and the sun? Six of Pentacles. Why is the world with the sun here? Why is the world with the sun? Yeah, this is something, this is starting something new. A new cycle here. Can I get one more for the world and the sun? Why is the world and the sun? A happier cycle. Maybe something that's being offered to you here that's new with a page of pentacles. Why is the Five of Cups down here and the Ten of Swords? Hmm. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles, please. Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Yep, the Judgment card. I think someone from your past is going to try to start over with you or start something over. There's the King of Cups. I think after a tower, and I, by the way, you know, take this as it resonates for you, Taurus, but I feel like for some of you, this tower happened recently, and for others of you, this must have happened a long time ago but it's after this tower i feel like there's some sort of um there's some sort of like new beginning here some something new but remember when i said that i felt like something was coming back around with the world it's because someone wants a second chance here with the judgment card and it could be that they walked away from you in the past or that you walked away from them and here they are again And I feel like you're not really sure about this person, this offer with the Seven of Pentacles. You're not sure about where all of this, you know, where could this lead? I, I, I see you like unsure. Maybe you're not sure if you can trust somebody. 
after everything that has happened. But make no mistake, like, I feel like someone's making you an offer here, giving you something. I feel a lot of you, this would make you very happy. Others of you, I feel like you're just going to do your own thing, whatever makes you happy. Spirit, tell me what's next for Taurus in love. What's next? For Taurus in love. Let me move these over. What's next for Taurus in love? What's next for Taurus in love? What's next for Taurus in love? Okay. Justice and the Seven of Pentacles. Libra energy. I feel like you're going to fight for what's fair to you. Um, you're going to stand firm and stand your ground here. I feel like you're not going to accept just anything, Taurus. You might even be a bit resistant. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah, because of what's happened in the past. Maybe you've learned from the previous cycle that you've been in. Tell me about justice. Maybe it's not easy for you to let anybody, just anybody in because of what's how you've been treated in the past. Aquarius energy with a star, hope, wish, healing. Can I get one more for justice? So I feel like you're probably going to be focused on what's best for you, Taurus, this time around. It's all about you this time around. Can I get some more, please, for justice? If that's resonating for you, then let me know in the comments. King of Pentacles, right. So this is, this is someone, you know, if someone's going to be your partner, they need to bring their A game. They need to match you. There's the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They need to match you. And I feel like this is something maybe you've thought about for a while. Um, I feel like some of you, maybe if you are dating other people, maybe you're taking it slow. Um, maybe you're just wanting to, you know, whoever comes forward, it's not enough for them just to offer you anything. I feel like this is you after all that has happened. Um, you're looking for something special. I feel like the past is very important. Either a past person is coming around, which I do see that for a lot of you. And some of you will accept them, some of you will not. Or the past has taught you something, Taurus. And you're not going to do things the same way as you used to. It's going to be fair to you this time. It's going to be balanced. It's not. You're not going to make any more emotional decisions. You're going to be more practical. But I feel like someone's coming your way. And it's going to be up to you whether you accept them or not. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope it resonated for you. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you want to say hello or just share how the story resonated. And um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.